another brick fan with an Infinity Saga set. This is the Infinity Gauntlet. This is set 76191, was released in June 2021, has 590 pieces and cost about $70 when it was released. This is the fourth Marvel themed, I'm going to say helmet style set that has been released. Previously we got Iron Man, Venom, and Carnage. This is about $10 more than those sets, which ran around $60, probably because of the extensive use of this gold coloring. Overall, I think the overall effect looks really good. They did a really nice job of creating these fingers with a, lot, a whole bunch of articulating joints. So each finger has two to three articulation points, which makes positioning the hand quite easy and well, easy to do and, and actually looks quite realistic. The thumb can move on this ball joint, so it moves in lots of different directions. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Infinity Stones. We do get all six Infinity Stones here. So the Orange Stone is the Soul Stone. The Red Stone is the Reality Stone. The Blue Stone is the Space Stone. The Purple Stone is the Power Stone. The Yellow is the Mind Stone. And the Green is the Time Stone on the thumb here. Now, most of these I remember where they came from. So the Space Stone was the Tesseract. So we first saw that in uh, Captain America. And then the Reality Stone came out of the second Thor movie. The Time Stone, of course, was seen with Doctor Strange. The Power Stone, of course, was in Guardians of the Galaxy. And the Mind Stone was in the Avengers Age of Ultron, because we saw that used for Vision. And then the Soul Stone over here was seen in... The only time the Soul Stone was seen was in Endgame, as far as I remember. That's when they first found out the location of that. But taking a look around the gauntlet, let's go ahead and start on the bottom here. So like all of these kind of helmet-style builds, we have a printed... We have a printed sign, you know, identifying what the model is, looking around the base. So this is nice because it, it does look like a glove because it kind of has this wider opening at the base. I like the way they did the shaping on this. You can see it's a combination of the metallic gold and then there's some tan pieces in here to kind of mix it up a little bit to create more of that effect. So the bottom is all nicely flared out, as you can see here. Moving back up, where we can see the top of the gauntlet. Again, all the stones are here. More of that bright metallic gold being used. The fingertips, fingertips actually have some of these ingot pieces on the fingertips, and then the slope pieces there to get them. And like I said, a lot of these fingers have two articulation points. Three, really, because it comes from down here. So that, that hand can be closed up quite nicely. The thumb is on a ball joint, so it can be moved around quite a bit. Although moving it too far exposes some of the internal workings or the internal structure of the gauntlet itself. Looking around here, we have this nice gold piece here for the fist, or the inside of the palm. There is a little bit of gray showing through there. Another one of these bright gold ingot pieces. So you see how the hand closes up or opens up, depending on how you want to position it. And the thumb even moves as well. So lots of nice positioning capability with the Infinity Gauntlet. So for me, this is a very great display piece. Um, I like having it displayed, you know, with the fingers slightly bent. You can see all six of the Infinity Stones uh, from this angle. You get the nice printed nameplate down on the bottom. It just makes for a really good look. And of course, when you, when you match this up with the other helmet type 
builds that have been released over the last couple of years, it makes for a really nice display of all these different uh, helmets. As far as the value goes, like I was saying, they, they did charge $10 more for this. So that seems a little bit high. It does have 590 pieces. So if it was at that $60 price point, like the others, it would fit right in line with kind of what we, what I like to use as my baseline. But since with the extra $10, it is a little bit more expensive than the other sets, but I think it's worth it. And certainly if you can get it on sale, it's a really nice piece to add to your collection. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Infinity Gauntlet. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to my Marvel Superhero Review playlist up here on the screen.